Nausicaa. Alan Moore uh, avatar here, guys. <laughs> I'm the Alan Moore avatar. Um, wish I could do like a an accent from where he's from. It's not man. Is it not Manchester or Liverpool? Where is he? Northampton. I think it's from Northampton. I would love to learn a Northampton accent to do that. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've talked about Nausicaa before. This is part volume two. Okay, there's two volumes in this set. It's a hardcover set by um, put out by Viz Media, translated by Viz Media and Studio Ghibli. Um, let me just say this, dude. I always say, I always talk about, I always talk about this book, right? And I always say, oh, we're gonna review Mouse. Mouse is the best book. Look, I don't have anything good to say about Mouse that hasn't been said. I love it to death. I would love to do an episode per page and just go over it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spare you that, unless you guys really want me to. But I will tell you this. Despite my love for Mouse and the story and the, the, the power that story is, this is so damn good from a visual rendering drawing perspective. This guy, Miyazaki, yeah, the guy who did Spirit Away, Princess Mononoke, the animator. Yeah, he did this freaking manga, guys. This is so good. This is probably becoming my favorite art of all time. Not even like the, not because I love manga or the big girls with eyes. It's that this, this the guy can draw. Like, it's, it's quite, quite remarkable the way he's able to do this. You don't, I haven't seen something this good since Mobius. This is like Mobius quality. I'm putting it at the highest of the high, okay? Uh, for art. It is just visually breathtaking. Um, I do not even understand the hours needed to put per page on this. I don't even know how he used his assistants did they just do the cross hatching? I don't know what they did because there's no backgrounds here. It's not like people pasted in backgrounds or did a skyline of Tokyo. No, dude, this is him organically drawing this whole damn thing. And it is so well done. It feels so much like Mobius and we know they had a relationship. The brother was, or the daughter was named after the other. We got that, but this is so good. Highly recommend this. This might be one of my favorite books of all time. Just full stop. It's so damn good. It is a story of a young girl, like most of his stories, who is a princess, <laughs> who has powers, okay, seeing the little pattern here, uh, to communicate and feel the, the empathy and the emotional sense of plants, fungi, mold, the earth, right? She is in tune with the spirit of the world, of the, of the plant world the animal kingdom, in the animal kingdom, because uh, insects are considered part of that, and, um, and how she tries to save Earth. It's an environmental story. It is a story of family and civilizations and governments, and, and um, go see the first part of my video, but I'm going to show you some pages from this, and it is just so freaking good, and I don't want this channel to be like, ah, oh, here's my next book I'm reviewing, but this is a freaking good book. So I'm doing it, okay? So deal with it. Uh, I love this book. Let's, let's turn the camera over and let's take a look at it. Are you ready? Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about Nausicaa, volume two. Now, remember how manga, you read manga really quick, like it's made out of a huge book, right? But you can read a manga, let me just grab one. Here's Monster, for instance, one of my favorites. I can read this book. I can read this this whole book in like two hours, right? So that's, what is this, 20, 20 bucks. I read this in two hours. This is quick. This is quick read, right? You know what's not quick read? Nausicaa. Not a quick read. This is hardcore read. <laughs> this is, he puts more panels in. There's just more going on. There's more detail. Like I was saying before, every panel, every element is looks organic, hand-drawn, uh, 
some of this is tech pen, you know, or pitograph. Some of it is 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 crow quill nibs. But look at the design, the detail. Look at this. Someone had to sit here and draw this, you guys. This is like this wasn't just done. Someone drew this, the, and then he does a great job of using the zipatone to give the shading to here. Um, it's just there's there's things in here that I'm thinking, how in the freak did he do this? Like, how does he draw this stuff? Um, so well done, so much effort, so much design is taken into here and these figures and the clothing, all this stuff and these beautiful landscapes and these crowds of people. And uh, and then you gotta put words, you gotta put dialogue in this. It's in the ships, the, all the organic, very organic ships and everything has a very living, earthy flavor to it. And as you can tell, the ink is actually kind of a brown sepia. It is not black. So even the ink is not full black. Everything is kind of, has this filter on it of earth. But look at this here, can you see this? I mean, this is just such a great, some great like panels and, and scenes. And this is very action-y. Look at, I love this one too, this one here. It's very action-y. It's very much, you know, a, a fun story of, with things happening. But I just, I think it is, the more I read this, the more I just think this is probably some of the best comics ever made. I don't know how long it took him to do. I don't know what kind of schedule he was on. If he was on the the, you know, the usual mangaka schedule. Or if he had some other kind of arrangement. But it is so well done. And I think what happened was he did this in between uh, projects. Like between film projects. Like I think it was between a film that he basically had this time or felt dejected or some way between films. And he just said, I'm just going to make a freaking manga. And he did that. And it was this. It's like, it's like, it's, it's just, it's just amazing. I can't, I can't tell you enough about it. It's just, there's things in here, the way he's drawing, the perspective, the, the movement of the camera, the level of detail that's just the right amount to express what's happening and what's going on. So much things are happening, so much detail in here. It is, it takes a while to read. It's not quick. It's something to, to just really uh, get involved in. And um, again, I, I, I can't give this any higher um, regard or acclaim. I think this is the best thing ever. And thank you much for watching. That's it. I just want to share this with you, dude. This is this is badass. I'm going to put the link below so you guys can check it out on Amazon if you want to get it. Uh, and if you don't, that's cool. If you already have it, let me know. What do you think? What's your favorite manga? What's your favorite? Here's a uh, Hirazaki film, for that matter. So, um, what did I say? Hirazaki. Sorry, I don't know who, who Hirazaki is. <laughs> Miyazaki. Sorry. Uh, it's getting late. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great one, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.